Welcome to another process video. Let's go inside and see what we've been creating today. Hi, welcome to another process video. I had a, I had a few messages saying, can you do a demonstration on how you do the tie dye? And I said, oh yes, yeah, no, that'd be fun. I make a lot of mess, but um, yes, should have turned the camera on when I was making these, shouldn't I? <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Let's make some, it's just my version. <laughs> I'm sure there are lots of other ways. My way of making tie-dye paper. <laughs> Freddie's having a gentle time. Just looking out the window. We've just come back from our walk. <laughs> Walked up to the park, didn't we, Freddie? So he's nice. He's had his dinner, so he's nice and resting. He's nice and restful now. <laughs> Got some art on the filing cabinet. That was from Kathy last week. Isn't that lovely? That was that's from Laura. And from from Beth. And this one's from Maljoy. It's fun to have magnets. So this cabinet glorious i remember picking it oh no that's the top drawer you don't want to see in the top drawer it's such a mess it's where i keep you do want to see it don't you okay it's just so messy it's got the sellotape and packaging <laughs> okay Let, uh, moving on moving on now this it's a bit neater in here this is where i keep the papers <laughs> i remember picking up this cabinet ben got it on eBay and it was already it was already stripped of the um, paint and brought to this beautiful color you, you have to to maintain it you have to wire wool it and put oil on it but when Ben moved out he didn't take this with him and it did not take me long what am I looking for oh I'm looking for the onion paper I was just enjoying looking through the papers. Here it is, just vintage paper rescued from a skip. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, oh, you, I can't remember what I was saying now. I lost my thread. Anyway, let's get back to, let's get back to the job in hand. So on this one, I, I've already put this with PVA onto pattern paper, making the, I'm beginning to make the paper fabric, but I'm showing you this to, to say that I love, it's sort of by putting the PVA on the top of it, it's ironed it out, but you can still see the creases. So this is actually, it's like faux tie dye really. So I can still see the creases and I think that adds to the adds to the pattern. The reason it's faux is because I I did get my paper like this and I crunkled it all up and I did Soak it in ink, put elastic bands around. But it, it see, when I when it dried and I came the next day, it did seem to be. It, it was patchy, so then I had to come in with a dry, wet wipe with the ink. So I thought I'll just I'm experimenting with you today, and don't forget Janet, USA said this would be good on. Maybe good on coffee filter. So here we are. I love this. Put a lovely feel to it. Lovely thin typing paper. Or use what you have. I'm sorry about the construction work outside, but I do live in quite a big city, so <laughs> there is going to be building works. Lots of flats. So what have I got? I've got for the centre... So if you want to wear gloves, do wear gloves. I, I'm not. I've got a wet wipe here. But um, do, 
do wear gloves if you want to, yeah. It depends if you're going out. Then, um, there we are. So I've got an old dry wet wipe. When I've used all this, this is going to be glorious. I'm going to leave some of that there because I will be doing some more colours around the edges. And now I've got pink. Put some pink down. I'm using the inks I've got. This is not ideal. I think it's distress oxide. Um, that this one was alcohol ink. That's the one that Laura gave me. But I think it's just a case of I'm getting another side of the dry. It's just a case of use what you have, really, isn't it? In life. I love the way it goes in the creases. Can you see that? I think that mimics mimics it quite well. And what other colours have I got? I thought I had a blue. I might have to nip and get the... I think this is orange. I have got a blue over there. Because I bought these to top up my little mini Distress ink pads. I thought... It was quite good to have the refills. But of course then I'm, I'm using them for my art now. Okay, this is very relaxing. Quite messy, but... Um, <laughs> pop another bit of ink down there. I'm using greaseproof paper, but you might want to use wax paper. Use whatever you get. My wax paper's finished now. My lovely neighbour bought me some back when she visited. I'm just going in there. I don't know why, but I'm just going in there with the orange, just because I can. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that blue. I won't turn the camera off. We'll stay with one another. Right, hold on a minute. Where did I put it? You know when you can't find things? Usually they're all together. Oh, there's the blue. It was just, oh, I didn't find it earlier. It's just because it was, you all right, Freddie? Do you want to get down, darling? What are you up to, honey? You all right? <laughs> going to go in the garden? Let me show you Freddie. Where is he? Can I do this with the camera? Oh, you can. Here he is. Look, he's half on the chair and half off the chair. What do you want to do, Daphne? Yeah? Half on, half off. Do you want to, like, sit here by my side, Freddy? Oh, you hot? Come get yourself a drink, darling. Let's see, and then I can bring it back round. This is this um, stand that that Ben got me. You've never had face down, so you can actually see what Janet's doing. This is a novelty. <laughs> never had face down camera angle before. Let's pop some... There you go, he's sat down by my side now. Let's get another corner. So relaxing. And then we'll pop the blue on. So... It's not like proper tie-dye, but my little version of it. Let's put some more down. My lovely neighbour said at the weekend we're going to have a little art party in, in my garden. She's got all the stuff. We're going to do ice dyeing, evidently. I'll see if I can record some, some of it. And I'm going to make the cupcakes and sandwiches. And, and, and I'm going to go and get the ice when I go shopping. And which yellow did I use before? I want to use a different one. Did I use this one? can't remember now. Um, yes, I'm going to do the sandwiches and cakes. Isn't that lovely? I think the, the boys will come as well. And, and her daughter, Katie. Let me show you what Katie got me. Here 
you see this? Isn't it lovely? A pin cushion. Isn't that lovely? It's my neighbour's daughter. And she's an adult now. I've known her all my life. She bought me that pin cushion. Actually, this blue, when used, is a makes, oh gosh, it, it's a lovely peacock, I would say it's a peacock green. Wow, that's a lovely colour. I'm getting in a hot mess now. These colours are mixing together, but I love that. So that, this, oh gosh, lovely. This is my version <laughs> of tie-dye. I think that came out a different colour there, but never mind. A different yellow. I love that. Let's just pop a bit of something else in the middle, just because I can. Don't mess about with it, Janet. So yeah, basically, that's my tie-dye. And then I glue it onto pattern paper and then glue on the top. <laughs> Lovely. I will pop that over there. Let me show you what I've been doing with the leftover leftover inks. I get my lovely book here. And I didn't show you in the live. I made, when I made my button stamp, I had a little piece left and I, I drew a whirly shape. And it's just one continual carve. I can show you how I do that if you want me to. I'm just literally, so I don't waste this, I'm just going to, while it's wet, put that on there. Oh gosh, that is a lovely colour. I've made plaid, Mary. Mary. <laughs> is that plaid? I don't know. That's wonderful. What a lovely, just not wasting any, because it will dry out, but gosh, this is, this is lovely. I should turn the camera on more when I'm just experimenting. And I haven't got, I haven't got that inky, let's, but do wear gloves if you. But with the leftover ink on, that's on here, Put it on my stamp. The great thing about that is it's not going to stick together because it's not that it's not like paint. Oh, it's getting rather full. Just go like that, and it oh lovely. Oh, they've all mixed together to make a lovely green. So I'm not wasting anything. I'm just using that stamp. So it's a very simple stamp. If you want me to, I can. If you're a beginner stamp stamp carver, as I am inspired by the lovely Mary. There we are. It's amazing how many you can make. And yesterday I discovered that these make lovely centres for painting paper, paper flowers. I might just make those flowers on my next live maybe <laughs> there we are oh that's freddie collapsing on the floor and i'm going to you're gonna what, what are we doing next ah yes i am going to make come with me over to the sewing machine and we will make this into a little journal cover First of all, I just need to tear off the pattern paper. Just get a ruler and tear that off. That can be used on collages or to decorate a page. Just do these edges and then we'll decide. We need to decide before we go over to the machine. We need to decide what size we want this. A little mini journal and I'm going to make 
the journal into a tag size. So it's going to be two tags. There we are, roughly done that. Lovely, so let's see. I want to keep the Vogue in, I don't want to. So I'm gonna go up, say roughly six inches there. Oh, now, that just, if I tear that off there like that. So now, this is my version of paper, fabric. Now, we saw Cat Ham do a video. She was using napkins and made um, fabric paper. And M Maria Kay from Chat was inspired and she made some paper fabric. It's got pattern paper and stitching and glitter and napkins. Isn't it lovely? So I'll leave Kat's video down down in the comments. So yes, it's it's lovely. Is it whippable? Let me see. Oh it is, it is whippable. But um I suppose you can rip fabric can't you? But it's gorgeous. You can scrunch it up, iron it out again fairly strong and so hand sew or faux sew that'll make a nice border or something pop that there and each tag let's how big do I want this to be I'm going to go there what's that that was three and a half inches so that's lovely so I've got, oh, I've got this piece to do something with. I'm loving that. Oh, oh, of course it tears because I'm tearing it with a ruler. What am I like? <laughs> oh, dear. So let's just, I might have to cut that actually. Have I got scissors that aren't fabric scissors? I have. I'm folding it. So there's like a, a booklet. And I'm folding it over like this because this is going to be a tag. A tag, a big tag, a journaling tag made in two. I just need to answer the phone to my mum. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's just a phone call where my mum is. <laughs> right. Fiddling with the pedal. Take my little sandals off here. <laughs> I've got the little tag notebook shape. <laughs> and I'm going to do some sewing. I think we find this sewing machine quite a nice, gentle sound, don't we? It evokes memories for a lot of people. <laughs> and I know that our lovely Teresa has just been gifted one of these singer sewing machines as well. I'm going around with the straight just a straight stitch and then I'll go round again with the a wibbly wobbly line as well. journal just a small one that maybe somebody could use for journaling notes and put in in their existing journal and then I'm going to go around 
hand in with the wobbly line. <laughs> right, here's the project bag. Um, let's have a look. Oh, look. Now, I would have been looking for that. That, yes, I need that to do the bag. And, yes, that's the one thing with taking things in project bags that you you tend to forget to put things away and and then you can't oh here it is look perfect then you can't find them because i'd have forgotten where that was so maybe when one comes home you to have a bit of a tidy up yeah oh lovely that's perfect Give it to mummy do you want me to throw it oh hold on oh dear <laughs> Can throw it out. Oh, ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm tired, <and> lazy. <laughs> we've we've had a walk, but um, let me show you what what it's like when I come to to Ben's. I've got my cup of tea there. I have it in my own mug. We, I it we call this Cafe Seventy Seven. <laughs> I come to Cafe Seventy Seven, and I I set myself up here. Got all my things. I've got my sewing. Uh, some paper crafts, some quilting. I'm setting myself up for a really relaxing. Oh, I can't even get the words out. Morning, afternoon. <laughs> right, actually, before we do this, doesn't that look perfect on it? Before we, oh, and it's like the sun. I've got the centre there. I love it when a plan comes together. Before we do this, let's go and get a cup of tea. Yes, let's have a beverage and a snack. <laughs> Actually, let's just check what's on dear Flo's desk. Oh, are you doing a collage, Flo? Oh, that's lovely. Look forward to seeing that. <laughs> and, gosh, I love the way that's coming out with the creased paper. Wow. And of course, when we glue all over it, it'll iron itself out. But the crease, where the paint's gone into the creases, it will still be there. I love that. A very still day today. The washing's on the line. Oh, but but no wind. <laughs> let's give you a snack, Freddie. Come here, darling. Come here so people can see you. Look, there you go. You gonna see? Oh, I don't want to sit. Okay, okay. There you go. Lovely. Treats always come in threes. Mm -hmm. Makes it nice and artistic. Right, come and sit up here. People would love to see you, Freddie. Or do you want to sit on the floor? Do you want to sit up there or on the floor? You choose where you want to sit, my dear. <laughs> Let's finish this up, shall we? I've got my Yorkshire tea, tea and biscuit flavoured tea. Love it. And I've got Ginger Thins, isn't that a lovely colour, the yellow? That's from my lovely neighbour, Sandra, knocked on the door. She'd been to Ikea and she never goes to Ikea without getting me some nice biscuits. <laughs> oh, he's going over there. Let's just sit on the floor over there. Don't you, Freddie? Right, so I'm just going to make some pages with this. I've got some vintage, what is it called? Ledger paper. But... It's not got any writing on, but so and that that would be lovely, wouldn't it, if it had writing on? So let's just make a few pages, show it. It's a bit creased. I can iron it later off camera. <laughs> We're not going to get the ironing board out now. So let's just roughly. How big do I want these pages? There we are. How big do I want these pages and how many pages do I want? That's the question. Ah, so lovely. 
so lovely to spend this time with you. <laughs> I'd be here anyway. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be getting my button zines ready and cut, ready to send off. <laughs> oh, that makes it the wrong way round because I've cut it like that. I can use that for something else, worry not. I'm going to put that over there. I've got a pile of papers ready to make borders with because I noticed that... Oh, there. I do that. I'm going to have that lovely like edge there. I noticed that when I cut out my zines, I was I had quite a pretty scalloped border. I will show you that next Monday, because no doubt I'll have been playing with those. <laughs> Here we are. Do you know, I'm influenced by somebody I watch, Kerr, from my take at the lake. I will leave a link. And she was saying about when you're making junk journals, you know, it's your choice, but we don't put, a lot of the time we don't put the papers up the right way. Well, they're going to get covered anyway, but um, she made a she made a valid point. So that's, I'm going to make sure these papers are up the right way. Let's just put those in there. Roughly just cutting these and I'll... I'll, do you want me to, do you want to stay with me and I'll go over the pamphlet stitch? Lovely. Lovely. Now I was, I think it would be lovely with your fabric paper you've made. If you've got one, pop it through the embossing fol folders. Wouldn't that look lovely? And I've got my embossing powders out to do some of that. I might do some of that. And I know I've got some, some glitter glue there. So I might do that off camera. Some lovely scraps. Those look lovely on the gel plate. So just a few, it's just got a few pages. It's just a, it's just a little journal. So, where is my big paper clips? Let me just go and get my big paper clips. Ta da! On the one in my journal, I've, I've put ribbon on my big paper clip and a button, just like Teresa did. <laughs> there we are. I don't think she did a video on it, I think she just posted a picture. So, that was very inspiring, Teresa. So let's pop these in. Let's make sure they're not too wonky or upside down. <laughs> oh dear. There's never any guarantee it's not going to be upside down, is there? And let's see if I can. It's very thin, this paper. Let's see if I can do that without damaging it. It just, if you put a paper, could you. If you haven't got big, big ones, you can just use clips or whatever you've got. Quite liking the 60s feel to this. I, I might not decorate it anymore because, because it's like a little journal. It will be nice to let the person who receives it. Yeah, lovely. The pages are a little bit curled up, but those will, those will line out. Ooh, try one of these ginger biscuits. Mm, just while we sat together. Mm. 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 Very nice. Mm. On Saturday, the Mary Artier is organising another hop. I don't know whether I'm allowed to say what the theme is. <laughs> Suffice to say, I will be making my video on Thursday and I'm going to be doing another round zine. So I won't tell you what the title of the video is, but um, 
So go in in the middle, like that. So look out for that on Saturday. I think Mary comes on very early, central time. Try to think what time now and central time. And then there'll be a list of other hoppers, myself and others. And then so come up there by the side of it. I'm leaving my ends inside and then come up across the other side. There we are. Now find where you've got that middle stitch and come in through there, through the other side of, of that. So you've got, when you tie your knot, you've got one each side. Sewing scissors are over there by the sewing machine, so I'll use theirs. And then you can put beads or, I do a Lizzie Brewer and put heart strings on the end of mine, little hearts. Ooh, I might cut hearts up with this paper and and do that there we are so that's my little project this week <laughs> it needs a bit of ironing but there's my little tag it's like a a journaling card really papers need to be ironed out but you've got the the word the ledger paper ready to go on that note then I'll say goodbye leave me in my cup of tea and leave Flo to her collage we'll probably see on Thursday what she's been doing <laughs> oh dear right thank you for joining me it's been lovely. It's lovely to craft along together or maybe you're just relaxing because I know quite a lot of you have been sharing that on big size and bread that you haven't you haven't got chance in your life on your journey to do any art or crafting at the moment. I don't think you're alone. I think quite a few people are saying that to me and also I feel yes I've been, life's a journey, isn't it? And have these phases in our life. Yeah, I have times when it's like that. But I, then that's when I appreciate just this community gets us through, doesn't it? Mm, thank you, everybody. And I do enjoy reading all your comments in, in the comments down below, just to tell me what, what you're up to, what's going on in your life, just so... I can keep you in my heart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what have we done? <laughs> We've done this, haven't we? Right. Bye, everybody. See you very soon in people's chats. Bye. <laughs> Freddie, I'm sat in your chair. Is that okay? I just wanted to show you. Um, I finished that journal we were doing last week one with the corners oh it was just just so relaxing i loved it slow bit of slow stitching with the fold over edges and i used this is a tray cloth from my mum's look at this there's a special name for this where you cut out and it's like um oh like a blanket stitch Coming back in, Freddie? Oh, there he is. So I used that for a cover. It'd been in my mum's linens for, I don't think it had been used for 50 years. So I thought, do you know, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to fold it over. And this is going to go to, to Melanie. <laughs> to Meljoy. There he is. It's lovely when you can just get outside. Sitting in the lounge doing a Tuscan doing grid a stitch. yeah grid stitch <laughs> little honey as well.